Right, so um, here is um, Whitechapel Station um, on the Elizabeth, on the brand new Elizabeth Line, um, which is the junction station for services to Abbey Wood and Shenfield, which alternate between the two. So, um, and this is what is actually, I think, the only station which has pa um, murals and paintings on the wall here. So, like uh, that one, that yellow painting, which I'll show you later. Yeah, um, I, I would like to explore the station with you all today. It's the service to Abbey Wood. An Abbey Wood train is coming in. So, um, remember when I said um, there were um, a ton of artworks at the station? Um, here is one of them. It's such a cool little uh, scale painting on this wall. And you've got um, the station sign, the ground door, and the connections at the station. A is the service to Shenfield. So we're heading up to the concourse now, and not very annoyingly, there's only one exit out of the Elizabeth line here at Whitechapel. And this is basically um, annoyed um, Jeff Marshall pretty much. Pretty much. So um, yeah, they should have added another entrance um, at the eastern end, but this is the only exit out of the Elizabeth line platform. And this takes you up to the main um, connection area of the station. Well, you can change for the overground and the underground too. And um, it is the overground and underground here is really confusing because you've got underground trains running um, on ground level and overground trains running underground, which is very confusing. Yeah, and you've got such a big um, like chasm here on, and at the top of the escalator. I'll show you um, more of this castle when we go down. Thank you. 
Yeah. Right, this is the way up to the concourse, and um, under, underneath the pit, so um, just below is the overground platforms. And so we wait for this lift. Huh? We'll wait for the next lift. This station is relatively very modern. I absolutely love this. One of my favorite stations yet. So you've got this guide here. So you've got the ticket area here. This lift, D, which takes you to the district line. And lift A, which um, is, one is Dur Durwood Street and the other Whitechapel Road. Right, and here's the uh, main concourse area of the station. Three maps, so one for the Lizzie line, one for the overground, and one there for the district line. Right, here's the lift A, which takes you down to the street entrance. So here, so you got the entrance to Whitechapel Road. Um, I think this is um, correct. Yeah, it makes like a big squeaking sound when it goes this lift. It makes a giant squeak sound. Nothing a little oil could fix that. So, um, unlike South Hall, White Chapel has also kept the bilingual signage too. Which is good, great. Here's the street entrance of Whitechapel Station. Alright, so um, we just um, came back into the station um, and we'll be heading over to the Elizabeth Line first and then we'll head to the, um, to the Overground and the Underground too. So let's go. So that way is to the Underground and that way is to the Overground and the Elizabeth Line. Yeah, so um, here you can see the um, London Overground platform um, down below because we, because we got the roundel um, just down there. Alright, so here is the, um, the entrance to the Elizabeth Line. Got this giant chasm here. Such a cool castle. Opposite of see it say it's water. They've added this separator here, yeah, just to for um, more social distancing, which has some, um, which is slowly coming, which is slowly dying down. B is the service to Reading, not stopping at Acton Mainline. And here's the westbound platform, which is absolutely packed today. I'm not exaggerating. 
ないみたいな。最近なんか。So this, yeah, so there's only one exit out of the Elizabeth line、um, here at Whitechapel, which is,、um, which is it even annoys me too, because you have to walk the entire length of the platform for, to get to the exit. But,、um, but you have these、um, numbers on the、um, platform screen doors, so they tell what,、um, which part of the train you need to go for the right exit. So here's a like a squared、um, cross passage here, which、um, takes you over to the、um, uh, westbound platform, the one towards Paddington. It's absolutely enormous. Yeah, such an enormous station. Yeah, they should really add another、um, exit, but add a like a walkway which connects、um, onto the main pathway towards the underground and the overground. Train bound for Shenfield, and you see Shenfield service leaving, which heads on to the new、um, tunnels, which head up to towards Stratford. But these trains、um, in the core only go as far as Paddington today. Um, because there's no、um, exit here,、um, this is such an, an unpopular part of the platform, and absolutely no one comes, no one even comes here. And、um, yeah, here is another、um, artwork here. I think I believe there's twenty of them in total here at the station. Roundel again. Right, so no one even uses this square cross passage,、um, um, unless if you use it in an emergency. <laughs> Absolutely, everyone is gathered over there. And we're the only ones here, here on the on this side of the platform, and、um, provision has been made for eleven car class three four fives. And、um, that's why you got an empty line of platform screen doors. And the first one、um, actually starts、um, by the second round door, by the third round. I'm sorry, which is rather interesting. Right.、Um, I hear a rumble of a train. I think it's on the other platform. And this is the aforementioned square cross passage that I was talking about. Um, I don't know. It's it's here only. The train approaching platform B is the service to Paddington, which means it's come from Shenfield. It's absolutely a packed train, but it doesn't say which carriages are full and which ones are empty. So you have to look at them manually, I'm afraid. And you see the train stops all the way at the front of the platform. And you can you can hear the other train on that platform over there.
All right, so you got that train um, over there leaving. Customer information. When using escalators, please stand on the right, keep loose clothing clear, hold on to the handrail, and customers with buggies, bikes, luggage, and wheelchair users are advised to please use the list provided. Thank you. Right, um, this is, so this is the um, steps which take you to the um, London Overground platform, the southbound platform to be precise. So there is a pink reader here um, for changing modes. So. This one is for, the other one was for Crystal Palace, Clapham Junction. Hi, 
ferry train, huh? pink reader here and this is a stairway which takes you up to the underground platform which is technically overground and the overground is underground because that used to be an old underground and right and here are the underground platforms And you can hear the overground rattling below. And up here, it's absolutely cold. So I, I believe the temperature is currently like two degrees. I'm pretty sure two degrees. Hear the barking Hampstead and City Line train coming in. Oh no, it's a district line. Hey, I, I mean, this train's terminating short of barking today. Barking train leaving platform number one. District line, the next train to Upminster will arrive in one minute. Okay, so it alternates barking Upminster, barking Upminster. Okay. Yeah, you can see here, this um, entrance here is permanently closed, um, unfortunately, because of the upgrades that took place here. Got the, the straight line for Upminster. Certain city line here. I wish that this entrance would have been open still, um, because um, it would um, halve the capacity of passengers here.
Actually, this train is for Ealing Broadway. For the safety of all of our customers, please remember that smoking is not allowed on any underground station. Line, the next train to Wimbledon will arrive in two minutes. Okay, um, um, so, um, uh, so we've now reached the um, end of the video, so, um, I would just like to say thank you, um, all for watching this video, and, um, I'll see you all next time.